make a set of criteria and stick to it, right? I've given you some things that I like to do to avoid asshole tenants, okay? Maybe you have some differing ideas, but whatever you do, set yourself up that criteria and fucking stick to it, right? Oftentimes, people have their criteria, and then they start talking and interacting with these tenants, and that's when the sob stories come out. That's when the heartstrings get pulled on, and I see investor after investor after investor talk themselves into allowing a tenant who's exhibiting clear warning signs that they're going to be a crappy tenant into their building. I don't know, like, why that is, but, like, you guys are just letting your guard down and you're letting these bad folks, these professional tenants, into your unit. Whether it's the single mother who's got a sob story about this, whether it's the felon uh, who had something happen to him 20 years ago and now he's found Jesus and he wants to turn his life around, whether it's the pretty girl who's just flirting with you and you're like, oh, man, this pretty girl loves me. Dude, they're not impressed with the fact that you're a landlord, bro. She's just flirting with you because she wants you to let your guard down because she knows she doesn't meet your qualifications, you fucking asshole. You idiot. You can't let them do that to you guys, right? So if you have a set of written criteria that you will stick to no matter what. When that pretty girl flirts with you, you won't let your guard down and change your criteria. When that single mother gives you her sob story, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't jive with your written criteria, there's nothing you can do. If Mr. X Felon is the holiest motherfucker out there, this dude is fucking preaching the fucking word of Jesus all fucking day and he's the fucking glorious ass person if you have that shit in writing and you can't break your own rules you will not let your guard down and rent to him because no matter how great you think he is today statistically speaking he is of a higher probability to cause you to lose money than someone who does meet your criteria Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.